Hi, welcome back to the Duck Call Room. Hello. It's been a minute. Johnny Goblin's back Hello. with us. Now we officially have Hello. the whole band back together. Summer's over, people. That's right. Back a, to work. Put a sweatshirt on. Break time, boys. Back to the sweat house. So you going to wear your oxygen all day today? Oh, You're yeah. welcome he to. Did. I just want to make sure that the people know what they're he, hearing in the background. Well, he did the other day. No, I'm, I think I'm good. He's good, He's boy. Good. He's solid. Yeah. I'm going to take my years off. <laughs> He looks my, fine. I just like to give the people off. a heads up if turn they hear the clicking. Off here, boys. Anything come up while I was gone? That's the finest oxygen available. No, ain't nothing come up while you was gone. But where you been? Over. <laughs> Over there. Over there down yonder. Over where? Yeah, by yeah. that. What did you do? By that big Georgia pine? I went pine. to Ike You went to hey, Ike Under the big Georgia pine? No, it was a little bit south of that. A little south of that. Florida. He was under a big Florida palm. Uh, yeah. How was I cast? It was busy. Did you see anything? What What is the one thing you saw that is going to change the world of fishing right. forever, Goblin? Hey. What, what did you see? I didn't. There was a lot of stuff, a lot of neat stuff, but it was. I was stayed pretty much in that crappy magnet booth. It was pretty, pretty hit. There's a good looking fella on the wall behind you. I know it. John right Goblin. In the, right in the middle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice of y'all to say that about Jeff. Oh, no, Jeff's on the end. Yeah, he's on the end. <laughs> Me and Goblin in bucket. the middle. Oh, yeah. Lord. So nothing, nothing revolutionary. Well, you know, there was a lot of new stuff. but they all got Oh, you were just out of an yeah. uh, export show? He was at the fishing. Of, of showing the, the new shot fishing. show of the fishing industry. Oh, okay, shot show of the fishing industry. I've always wanted to go. The place that about killed me. I was about to say, you, yeah. every, now hey, I can't. There wasn't, there wasn't many people. Well, I, there was more people there this year. Well, what, Jeff was, was there? pretty full, yeah. I cast now marks the time. Has he come up with I'm any? I'm going to give that man paper? a little room. He said there was more people. I still got PTSD from that place. Hey, look, I'm, I'm what, five days out, so. You I'm, good now. I'm good now. Yeah. We, are, we are one year. Nothing happened. From when the podcast took a weird turn, <laughs> me and Martin took a couple of weeks off there. Yeah, a few yeah. weeks a few weeks of forced vacation there. <laughs> well, how, was, did, uh, how did the big fishing shot show go? Oh, it went good. went great. We done the. Uh, where you been the first two minutes? Well, hey, look, I just wanted to get the. <laughs> He's going fishing. Sige is over in La La Land. We done the traditional top golf. Yeah. Did you Were win? You whacking ball. No, I yeah. can't hit that thing. I just go up there and whack it. It's not moving. Oh, I can hit it. And you're not very far from it. It just don't go very far. <laughs> Sometimes it goes right, sometimes it goes left. He's not a golfer. So golf ain't for you? No. Nah. No. Nah. That's... I golf once a year, top golf, right before I cast. And did you eat you any chicken fingers or cheese dip while you there? I only had uh, brisket. Brisket? Okay. Right, top golf brisket. Brisket, and I forget the name of the chicken, but it was good. It was good. It was good, brisket, the... at the driving range? It was. Arcade? Well, they had it catered in. Oh, uh, well, then there's a chance. Uh, it wasn't regulation. There you go. Good for Jeff. Spend a little of that money you yeah. making, son. Good for you. Good That's for good. Jeff. Well, Sai, si, look, I I, it's time. I got something I got to show you. It's It's been a while. I've got trail cameras back out. And at 1 a.m., I got an interesting photo, and I'd, I'd love to know your take on that critter. Wow. We're back, baby. This trail cam confessions are starting again. That's a tail, sir. Yep. You're exactly right. Ladies and gentlemen, Martin finally has That's to confess. A uh, what? That's a bad angle. A, a well, bad next angle. time I'll ask him to stop and pose. Oh, no, no, no. Because I'm looking. He's looking. My my first opinion, I look at that. I'd have to look at it for all the time. That's a bear, a small bear. A small bear. It's a honey bear. You got to be kidding me, Sai. Sai just ruined everybody's thoughts on the internet of what they had said. That's a Black Panther. No. That's a baby Black Panther. No. There's something wrong with his ears. Well, they back? Huh? Well, no, no. There's something wrong with his ears. For for that big an animal to have that little tiny ears? No. He got them pulled back? No. Huh? He finna take off. He's not a very big animal, by the way. Well, I know, but for the size of his body to the ears, no, it, it ain't right. 
I'm going home. There you so, go. Sai just, yeah. just killed everybody's dreams. Well, the man no. who believes. Oh, no, because no, no, look if, if I, the baby panther. Don't you believe in baby panther? Hey, I'm trying no, to figure out no, this. No, that ain't no use. baby panther. That, that is a panther. Like, no, it ain't. Wow. No, it ain't. That's some kind of a. Uh, it ain't a panther, he said. Well, oh, you hey. you were right on what it is. I, I think it's a little bear. No, it is. It's a hundred percent a small no. male bear no. that just his got ears, his ears ain't right for the, the weight of the animal. I've just yeah, their ears are wrong. Everybody on the internet <laughs> I said it was a panther. It is a they panther. they are all backing you up and saying Sai is gonna be wild. You finally got proof and I'm like I look at it and I'm like, how do you see anything but a bear? No, no, I see a panther. I mean, I woke up with it this morning. Y'all with... are just look. Y'all are in La La Land. I okay. quit. So it's not a wow. <laughs> it's a. That, <laughs> that ain't nothing like what I actually saw in the pickup with him and Jake. Uh oh. Okay. What I saw in the pickup was a real black panther. Yeah, with look, a big long tail with bobcat characteristics. Hey, well, Randy no. sent this photo in. Oh, no, they had ears. It was good. <laughs> now that's a good one there. Hey, that, that one never gets old. Look at Si. He up on top of. <laughs> he's riding Goblin, and Goblin's riding a panther. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, <laughs> that ought to be our next duck call room wow. T-shirt right that, there. That, that, I that, hadn't seen that yet. That's, that's good. Randy okay, sent that good. in. I like it. I like it. Four that, days ago. <laughs> that's that's quality entertainment right there. So, hey, here's what that tells me. Guy would learn from crawling across that bro, uh, road, dirt road, in them uh, berry vines. Hey, get off the ground. Yeah, get off the ground. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> Then you ain't got to pull them bars <laughs> out of your knees you all the time. This ball of time tonight, this is going to hurt a bit. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, man. Yeah, well, I really oh. thought that was a Black Panther, though, and I thought we were going to have a – No. Me no, and you no. were going to be on the same team like no, we normally are. No, that was no. wrong. No. Wrong, wrong. He's wrong every direction. Oh, man. Well, I'm okay, sad now. Number one, okay, a Panther is uh, – how do I say this? Not real. No. Oh. Yeah, what? What? Oh, he's, oh here I'm we sorry. go. I, I, my, oh, you're right. Imaginary? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Well, no. When he's moving. I've seen one. Uh-oh. Well, that's you know, not a moving picture. Uh, yeah, but he was moving when the picture was took. That is a true statement. He was yeah. walking. Okay. He was walking. Yeah. And he didn't have what a panther is like fluid. fluid. Okay. He's got grace. You he looks yeah. pretty fluid yeah. right there. There's no effort to his moving. Okay. Yo, know, if he could do the moonwalk, he wouldn't even be able to see him. He would just be. What would he just be doing? Be gliding. The moonwalk. Yeah. Well, Jesse from Martinez, California, mm -hmm. could be Martinez. Uh, there's a new study out that there are jaguars in Arizona. They're moving north. Well, yeah, that's close to. It's a long north. way from here. Well, that, hey, that, that could have happened. Hey, I've been telling y'all that all along. All your animals, all the animals from the south, are moving north. See, look. Too hot. That's National okay. Geographic. Too hot. They've never told a lot. Oh, no. National Geographic. Yeah, okay. they're just trying to steal the thunder from uh -oh. Shark Week. Don't Look, pay that right. they, they, right. they're, they're they saying go. there are jaguars in, in Houston. In H-Town. Wow. I thought there was just Texans in Well, Houston. I was going to say, there's mountain lions in, in Which in means Louisiana. one of them could have said, Boomer. you know what? And there ain't even no mountains here. Hour right. There ain't no mountains in here, okay? Just, then, hey, ain't but numbers. I did see deal. one one time. A black panther? No, he wasn't black. He was deer colored. There you a go. rabbit come out in a shooting lane and run down it and run in there like that. I just noticed it run in the woods. And about a minute after that, I said, good grief. I just seen a panther. And here's what I tell you about all that. I had, it wasn't black. I had never seen one till our first year in Wyoming. I had thought I had seen panthers before. But when we rounded that corner and he was in that road, <laughs> I said, "Okay, I ain't ever seen that before." Well, no, that's no. him. Like, no, no. you know. And Kenny said, "Your stand's right over there." Yeah, yeah. he saw he go another way. Here's what I've seen on Phil's property: I've seen a black panther for real, and, and I've also seen a puma, the mountain lion, the at puma, Phil's property. Um, the cougar, and then the cougar, and then I seen another thing three different times until this day. From then till now, presently, I, it was never identified. I never, 
I never figured out what was it. Dan name? the Butler. Okay. Yeah, Her this okay. is one of the high. This was a in a unidentified animal. Dan, I have shoddy. no uh, no idea what it really Her was. Okay. Her okay. I've seen it three different times. One what? time I thought, it, well, it could be a turkey doing his fanning. I said, eh, mm. no, he was too fast for a turkey. So he ain't very big. Yeah. yeah. And then I said, well, short and fat. I, 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 I'm actually leaning toward it was a river otter, a big one. A big river. otter, yeah. Yeah. I'm and going that's with what I'm leaning because I seen him on the levee, okay? You know, and and I, when I seen him, it was just boom with the four wheel. I got to him as fast as I could. Well, on one of the places where Red had dug to put some dirt on the road, it was, it was full of water now, and it was ripples on the water. Oh, yeah. So he, whatever uh, it was, it could have been a monkey. Whatever it was, went in the water. Now, wherever he Not stayed under it or whatever, went out of it because it was, water was ripping. But I figured it was a big giant otter. Did you know there's a whole monkey like sanctuary in Shreveport? A whole monkey sanctuary? Look it up. Yeah. So oh. it could have, uh, one of them could have escaped. No, I didn't. No, this wasn't a monkey. There's millions of monkeys in Treep. Yeah. No, there wasn't. This was a monkey. They got a monkey. sanctuary. It's not millions. Well, it's like, it's like a, a it's sanctuary. Like bear. It's like a bear. Okay. A it's, monkey has got a distinct look to it. Yeah. And he's got distinctive ears, too. Monkeys do. I'm sad because okay. I no. really thought we were going to have a. But hey, look. So I confirmed it. It's Yogi. It's a there you go. <laughs> hey, Yogi. It's Yogi a boo boo. Yeah. I'm going to need more two. photos. Got to get uh, up and I'm not basket. agreeing. All right. Well, let's take a break. I figured, look, I'm going to remind y'all well, now, though. Let's don't. Well, I just let's blew don't. everybody. Let's don't it's, take a break. It's trail cam season. Right. Send them in. If you got unidentified right. ones, we want them back. It's that time of year. You're That's putting right. them back out. They're let's welcome. See They're welcome. All right. We'll be back right after this. You know where I wish I was right now, Sam? Where do you wish you were? Right in your favorite place in the whole wide world. Where's that? Where is that? You know where it is. Uh oh, is, is it got anything to do with the word pristine? Oh, is it pristine? Okay, guess where I'm going. Where are you? I want to go I'm there going with you. to New Zealand. Yeah, okay. baby. And what look, are you getting? Hey, I'm going to get stuff that they pick off of a water vine. Well, watch out for that, great whites. Yeah, that lives in the ocean. Shark week. And then they run it through a system, okay, and they make... Omega XL pills. They're small. They're easy to swallow. But they're mighty. And they're mighty in power. Okay. Look, and they're, hey, you got like something like 360 joints in your body. Amen. And every once in a while, something happens. You fall in wrong or whatever. Yeah. Or you step on something and your ankle twists. Or you just wake, wake up. up. Oh, yeah. you just wake up and you feel some pain in one of your joints. The wrist, the knee, the elbow. Hey. You're losing SPMs, especially like when you get my age, 74. You mm -hmm. can rejuvenate those That's SPMs. That's right, and I can pop them, okay, swash them down with a little spot of tea. Then you hear sirens, you hear tires squalling. They hit it 155 miles an hour, and guess where they're going? They're going to the point of inflammation. Amen. Whether it be in your elbow, your knee, your toe. And look, and as soon as they get there, they okay. take care of business. Okay, the pain is gone. Martin, tell them how to get this amazing stuff. I think they already know, but we are going to remind them. Right now, if you order Omega XL, you get a second bottle for free. free. Not one, but two bottles of Omega XL. Oh, visit, wait. Om <laughs> visit OmegaXL.com slash Doc. That's OmegaXL.com slash Doc. Or you can call 1-800-844-48. Add two more eights on top of that. 88. 1-800-844-48. There you go for not one. But for two, and the last bottle is on us, boys. Why would they have a sanctuary for monkeys in Treeport? It's a chimpanzee sanctuary. Because it's a jungle in Shreveport, Goblin. Hey, Haven't you heard? That's it. How it's the land it? that spawned Cy Roberts. That's right. Oh, good grief. Mm. See? Yeah, that is rough. Oh, that's that's they do have nine mile by that's rough. actually 24 miles. Not really Shreveport, north 12, of Shreveport. 12 boys. mile by, what about, is it? About 30 miles. Well, 12 well mi it's 12 mile by. That's actually 24 miles long. I don't know. I do. What? Do you? I went all have you way, measured it? I went all the way to the dam. Hey, have you measured it? Yeah. Why do they call it 12 Mile Bile then? I don't know. I didn't name it. That's a halfway point. Maybe oh, they go back and forth. That says, it says don't fish no it's further than 12 miles in here. It's a trap. It's a trap. 
That hey, and I had an unidentified fish in that place. Oh no, here we yeah. go. Was, what happened? No, 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 because it only happened at night. <laughs> okay. And you didn't just like, like every, picture. Just like everything I, else. No, no. And I'm talking about hey, gigantic fish. Okay. Big. Some of, some of them, oh, eight, ten foot long. Oh god, yeah, that's an alligator god. No, nope. He ain't that big. Nope. It's a <laughs> whale. Hey, because he was silver. Just, silver. He was. I thought it was a tarpon. It was a bull shark. No, no. I thought it was a tarpon. That's what I. Hey, that's what I identified this as a tarpon. As a tarpon. Yep. You saw a tarpon in Shreveport. Yeah, in in Twelve Mile Bow, when I was a teenager. Next order to chimpanzees. Mm-hmm. The chimpanzees are in Shreveport. Well, that's ah, you sure you didn't try recreational narcotics growing up? You ever planted <laughs> golf balls to see if they turn out to be baseballs? <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't pull that stunt. Wait, what? what? Time out. No, we, we ain't glancing over that. Do what? Run that by plant, me? Again? You plant golf balls. Yeah. And hope it and turns they, into a they, softball. They grow up in the baseball. Yeah, to softball they grow in the on ball. the plant and there's baseball. Yeah. You plant, you plant a from. golf ball, and then when you go dig it up, That's or when it comes up. Tommy told me one time in the blind. They got <laughs> side of plant golf balls. He told him they'd grow up to be baseball. And you fell for that? Oh, no. Man. Huh? No, that's his story. He planted a hundred of them, they said. Hey, I think hey, that's holes his, all in hey, the yard. That's his story. That's yeah. Tommy Robertson's story. About you. He said, I your brother said I, they I talked you I into it. I can't believe I, they told you that story. I was in the blind well, one I was day. Out, I was out of heard it. You was there? I gave him one of them golf balls right upside the head that's, when I was there. What else are brothers I, for? Hey, hey. you So... As a child, you you see that's what I that's what I grew up with. You, but okay. you planted a bunch no, of no, no, I didn't. This is the first time. It's just like when me and Miss Christine was here. Well, her stories yeah. were always true. Well, hey, no, <laughs> I, I, this is the first time I heard about. Hey, they gave me a hundred golf balls and told me to plant them and water them. Okay, so I was oh, so now, I see, could have. So you did it because Godwin no. didn't say nothing about watering no. them. No, gotcha. No. <laughs> In the hey, that was his story. Mine, I added a little bit to it. Oh, now the creative license <laughs> comes right, out. That's right. Did you put some the fish two, heads by them yeah, for fertilizer? The two storytellers always add a little bit more better to it. Because oh. it sounds better if someone, not only did he plant them, he watered them. I, I watched him mm-hmm. do the boys every day with a sprinkler, and he watered them individually, every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's a true story. Yeah. You'll see, that sounds better. Yeah. I love it. My goodness, <laughs> big brothers, big brother, the things big brothers make you do. Mm. Your big brothers make you do anything? Oh, all the time. This, this takes me back into Hickernut Wars. Okay, you ever had what was that? Hickory, Hickory Nut. Nut. There it Wars. is. Hickory Nut okay. Wars. I didn't know what a okay, Hickory Nut was. Okay, and you got them. You can have them either way. In the shell, okay, when they're green and hard as a brick bat, or you can wait till they get right, fall off, and when they hit the ground. They pop open, okay, and then you got the just a hard hickory nut. And they're harder than a baseball. How did you? Yeah, how they're did, harder than a baseball. What did y'all do? Bat. Just throw them at each other? Uh, oh yeah, that's why my slingshots. Uh, yeah, <laughs> slingshot also <laughs> scared me to death. You know, that's why I talk, uh, Harold lost his two front teeth from a hickory nut war. Mm-hmm. Was that the end? He, of did, the he didn't hit him, but he hit the tree. He was standing behind, and then it ricocheted. Shrapnel. First, yeah, yeah. And it knocked his teeth out? Knocked his front teeth out. Both of them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's they a million to oh, one yeah. shot, Doc. Oh, yeah. Hey. They called him snaggle teeth. Hey. No, hey, they called him. He didn't have no teeth. Yeah. That's get false teeth. <laughs> Wasn't no snaggle, was that, it? Then you had cow patty wars. Oh, that, yeah. That sounds gross. I've done Oh, that. it is. Because, yeah. look, the best one you could get is is, is hit, the cow dropped it, okay, in a big pile, and it was liquid. Okay. Gross. And it's like right now, it's hot. And it dries. And it dries. Around the edges. Oh, no. Like the, brick mortar. Oh, no, no. It's on top. Ugh. You wait to get a little dry. Good on top. Still soft in then the middle. Then you take like, like a, a sharpshooter sharp shooter shovel and gently pick it up and then flip it over. And, and it's very soft on the bottom. And let it cook on that side, too? No. No, oh. no, no. You keep that soft for when you hide behind a tree and somebody walks by, you just... No, not in their face. Oh yeah, oh yeah. In their face? Oh yeah. Oh, now see, me and you would have went round and round well, once hey, I we, got. Hey, don't let that happen. Yeah. We, it, that's it's, why it's, he wins the hundred yard dash. Yeah. 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 Hey. Once I got that crap out my nose <laughs> and off my teeth. Yeah, yeah. It's bad enough to hit you with a pie. 
but to hit you with a cow patty pie. Right up in the face. Yeah, That's right in the face. That's just rude. Why not just throw it at them? That's a lot. Oh, no, 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 no. It's just like the Indians when they ride up to you with their spear and they don't kick. They just pop you, touch you. It's called calling, uh, what is it? Counting coop. coop. Counting coop. Then you ride away. You're oh, wow, look how brave I am. What? That way you hide behind the tree and as soon as you walk, you put it in his face and take off running. Because if you happen to have a BB gun on him, you think it's shot. And we was known to carry weapons when we was, you know, playing. Just in <laughs> case somebody did the unthinkable. Mm, that is the unthinkable. <laughs> mm. But I've been in my childhood. But I don't poo on people's face and shooting them with BB hey, guns. Hey, there's a lot of people, okay, Jimmy Frank Robertson was responsible, okay, for getting a lot of young men scholarships. What, teaching them how to run? Huh. Teach them how to play ball. But, and they didn't have a choice in it. This was a, you know. Self-defense. He, 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 he had a draft. You, 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 and you are playing. Come, come here. They try to run. Nope, run them down. Bring them, drag them back. Tell them not. Nope, you're going to be a lineman. You're going to be a running back. You're going to be in. You know. And so I was going to be the monster man. Oh, not, hey, that's what not. I played in high school. Okay. I was the monster man. But in, even, in pickup games, he was just a cheerleader. Uh, no. What? He said no. No. He was hiding no. behind a tree with poop all in his hand. Yeah. No. Looking for an escapee. That's it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, awful. Poop oh. in people's faces. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. But we had a great immune system. <laughs> well, I'd say so. <laughs> well, hey. Well, the cows were probably wormed anyway, well, so no, you no, probably no, got hey. a little ivermectin well, up I'm, in hey, you. Hey, right. I'm just telling you, we got a great immune system. Barefooted in summertime. So there was rocks everywhere. Oh, yeah. No, no. There. Our feet, listen to me. I'm serious. Our feet were so tough, okay, and they were about the color of this file, a little darker. Probably the color of the tea, the bottom of our feet were. And you could throw a mason jar down and bust it, and we could walk on it. We can get cut. Well, I understand that. I was just going to say all the stuff that was around to play with, and you picked up a pile of crap. Well, no, no. Hey, well, we there was plenty of stuff to play with. Well, hey, we was raised on a farm. Yeah, you know? raised on a farm, man. Yeah, you know, we killed our own beef. We killed our own pigs, and then we raised everything in the garden. Canned everything we raised. So I'd have just simple you know, had, organic. And we had we had a smokehouse, where when Mama would just say, "Hey, we got ready for breakfast. Go out there and get a slab of bacon. Bring it in here." And she'd cut big, thick slices of bacon and fry it up. You know. Out of simple mm -hmm. curiosity, though, who who laid the best piles of poop? Was it the cows or the bulls? Which one? Did you that's look for good, one? That's a question. We didn't really care, you know. Mm -mm. We See, I'd have paid attention. I'm no, just nerdy no. enough yeah. to pay attention well, to that. We were not into DNA of the bull or the cow. Let's see who. You just needed to both eat right, the We just needed product, it to so. be baked on the top where it was crusty <laughs> mm -hmm. and soft on the bottom. Just yeah. like a cookie. Just, just wow, like a, yeah, just like nah, a, I can't eat cookies. Just like a, a, a freshly baked yeah. pie. <laughs> I can't eat many cookies no more. I can't eat sweets much no more. <laughs> Why? God, look. What? What is that? I'm a bona fide diabetic now. <laughs> he's, he's a bona Are you really? Yeah, that's he's what they told fat? me. Well, let's talk about that when we get back. Hold on now. Yeah, I didn't even know that. We'll I be back right after this. Today. Here's the alert. Oh, this is brand new. It's a bona fide diabetic. Level with me. Look, we've okay. all been in a situation at some point where... What kind of situation? We was a little tight on cash, mm -hmm. right? It happened. Maybe you short. could only afford to put a few dollars or a few gallons of gas in your tank, or you got another save the date and wondering how you were going to afford to gift. A few gallons that's, in the tank? That ain't much. That's that was, a lot now. That was yesterday, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> But that's where our friends over at Dave can help you. Instead of having to go out and hustle and do all those things to make a quick buck to get you there, our friends over at Dave can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. That's more money to fill your tank, buy a wedding gift, or just simply catch up on bills. You can finally tackle those expenses that have been stressing you out without any hangups. There's no interest and no credit check needed. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch and you need some extra help, download Dave and think of it as a helping hand from the future you. Si, how easy would Dave have been in your childhood? That would have been better than picking cotton. Yeah, hey. Well, that's true. 
Right? You yeah, can make fun of me. Picking, pick, uh, picking cotton that fits the sense of knowledge. Download the Dave app now from the App Store. That's D-A-V-E. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly. For terms and conditions, go to Dave dot com slash legal instant transfer fees apply banking provided by evolve member fdic future you will thank you so Godwin, you are officially a diabetic yeah i took some blood work for you know annual blood work for my went to eye cast and i was at eye cast and my doctor called me at eye cast so how old are you now I'm about to be 60. 60? In September? September the Are 6th. Are you kidding me? No. That baby right here's getting long in the tooth. I know. <laughs> Daddy yeah. always said Hot getting kettle. old ain't graceful. So you was good to you turned my name 60 years old I was good until I went to high cash. Yeah. <laughs> and then that might, got you. Huh. I think you might have had it before it. then. That's wild. You just found out. She called. She said, Joe Sugar would like something. I forget the number. She said, I'm going to do a three-month deal she called it something she said i'll i'll get back with you too many honey buns so about yeah man too many I, honey buns in the duck blind boys that's terrible hey, i can't yeah. eat no more hey, honey buns that's it It'll give so you are you head. on insulin or are they just checking you what, what's, what's you? on your arm right now it's a it showed us like phone. a device it's a patch you use your phone you scan hey look there's a piece of metal in there sticking in my arm so it is that doesn't sound fun hey. who's a man no, I'm kidding. I ain't gonna pull that. I ain't gonna pull that off. Of <laughs> Did it hurt when they put it on you? <laughs> I didn't even feel it. Hey, let's see. Let me get my pocket out. It's just a short. I can pop that off. <laughs> I can pop it right off. Oh, it's a needle about this long, about big around as a hot water pipe. No, it's not. It's just <laughs> big around as a hot water pipe. Hey, that is they 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 done That's it. That's what I was thinking they put when it on she stuck it on there. Hammer. No, you don't even feel Tell it. Let me hold it. It's like it ain't even there. So I they, gotta take some shot every week. Once a week. Mm. Oh, so you just like a a beginning. You ain't like like our buddy Steven at Realtree that he got to he got to check it like every hour and he's really? pumping and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I, hmm. I've. But they didn't tell you what caused it or not or what what could be the cause. Hey, too many honey buns. Well, my mom I still, was. I uh, diagnosed him on that. <laughs> she was in the insulin dependent, <laughs> but uh, so I guess I got it. From oh, her. a little bit of genetic. But why did it wait this long? To come around? Yeah. Now, I don't hey, know that answer. That's Time like I've pressure. got insulin resistance here on my belly. What does that mean? It means fat. That's, but that's how you cure it. Oh, he's been watching them late night infomercials. Yeah. But anyway. After. Go low and get rid of it. That's what they tell see, me. She said if you, <laughs> See, I told you. He's been on that infomercial bag, son. Fox <laughs> News at that's night. Why, hey, yeah. I'm telling you, hey. Yeah. If you want to know what comes on after the Westerns go off, <laughs> yeah. right. hey. there you go. Oh, you got to change channels, okay. <laughs> I and SP don't, don't show get Golo. Yeah. You got to get that on another channel. <laughs> what is happening? But yeah, that was quite interesting. Huh. Yeah, they gave me a bunch of books to read, and she said you need to, well, that charts it when I do that. I don't know how many times I'm supposed to do it, but it's been in the green all day, so. Green good? Yeah, green means go. Green's uh, always uh, good, isn't it? Uh, go low, I tell I'm you. Making boy. sure. I don't know. Go low. I, what? It's in the green. She said if that arrow points down, you need to eat something. So it tells you when to eat. Yeah, it says you better eat. Huh. Oh. Interesting. But I ain't never, I I don't know, I, I never, I don't feel funny. <laughs> I mean, I hadn't. I would you never, sure I look funny. Yeah, I'm gonna say you look funny. Well, I mean, I don't know. You know, when you get a cut, you hurt and bleed. Well, hey, yeah. there you go. I didn't know I had nothing. Well, I think, hey, I got arrows on. So you don't feel no different. You gotta watch these arrows. I'm kind of depressed. I can't eat no more caramel hey. cakes or honey buns. Or See? Well, but I mean, maybe you just dial it back, huh? You still oh no, we're gonna have to have a honey bun watch in the blind now. Honey bun watch. I'm like, all right, look, don't break out the ain't, honey bun. Ain't don't break out the honey like bun. Get old, get old honey bun. Got honey bun in the blind. I just got to know, guy. <laughs> what did Miss Paula say? I ain't told her yet. Uh oh. Oh my word. Oh, I told her that. Uh, I told her they think I might have diabetes, and she said, "You're falling apart. <laughs> we got a lot of things to do. You got to go get fixed." 
<laughs> I said, well, I'm going to the doctor, but I ain't showed her all this. I'm scared, too. She so, might flip she's out. freak out. She's liable to, oh, man, your house. Oh, your diet fixes the goat. She'll yeah. have me running. She got, oh, yeah. you know, she'll, yeah. she's out <laughs> there her. Walk, walking in the yeah. cemetery, that oh, yeah. arm slinging group, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Arm slinging. arm slinging group. Hold on. Can't glance that way. Arm slinging group? <laughs> well, that's what their markers do. They sling in their arms, you know. I was always wonder when I went by there and I seen them going through the cemetery. I was wondering, what is this bunch doing? They sling in their arms. That's it. Hey, why do people all walk in cemeteries? It's a popular. Because it's quiet. That's right. I mean, I don't know. Go. Well, we live next to one. So. Yeah, they next door neighbors. So. You believe in ghosts? <laughs> well, you know, in Luke, when. Jesus went up, I mean, uh, all them disciples run up there in that upper room. And when Jesus appeared, he said, don't be scared. A ghost don't have flesh and bone like you see. I'm not telling hey, by the way, I'm hungry. Give me so, some meat. So God was saying, Jesus said they was ghosts. Right. I don't know. What you say? Wow, I've he never didn't. thought about that. Oh, this yeah. is a big segment to unpack here in my head. <laughs> right, right, right. I got yeah. a lot of thoughts. Yeah, but yeah. size right. He said, "Y'all got any, any fish? I'm Some hungry." Deep, boys. Hey, they so said, that's what? Well, Jason so gets fired up. There's fries in heaven, but yeah, yeah that's, that's when probably, Jace gets fired up. Jesus said, "Hey, fish. I know one thing. I'm gonna like heaven." He said, "Cause hey, first thing that's Jesus rose from the dead." He yeah. wanted to have a fish fry. He sure did. Fish fry. You may, and that ain't the first time. That's that it. was the second time. That's right. But now you may have to go on like bake fish. Uh, well, that's fine. I like that too. Uh, that's good. Yeah. I make me some fish dip. Oh, what's in that dip? Fish taco. Hey, sugar. <laughs> what's in that dip? I don't know. I need a little horseradish. <laughs> horseradish and, and mayo. Man, and there it is. Mayonnaise. Little uh, God, when your condiment world may be about to get turned upside down, I know you're a man gonna, that loves condiments. We're gonna have to have a talk. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get we, Stone on the we, phone. Yeah, we're gonna have to talk like this. Gonna Stone have. gonna get you over on that speed bag. You're oh, gonna be like Johnny D last Welcome year. to the house of pain, guy. When, mm, mm, mm. Hmm. I'll get you a Fitbit and everything. Size does it. Hey, I'm 20 days. No, 19 days from getting 10,000 steps every day for 365 days. And on day 366, steps. I ain't moving. That's because Wait. somebody asked for a specific crappie jig color and you got to walk to the other end of the store. That's about 20 steps. Uh, I got to do that a but lot. You can, you can do that. Just start why, walking. Why, you got arm slinging group, man. Why is 10,000 steps important? Because I heard that. Yeah, I hear it all the time. Why they, not 10,000 and more? For yeah. the average person, what, it's like five miles a day? Or, or 990. Five miles. What's wrong with 999? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Five miles is 10,000 steps? Yeah, for the average person. I don't believe that. 10,000 steps. come up with that? For the average person. A person that, that said, oh. I'm going to start at one and walk, and I'm five miles away now. It's 10,000. How far are you from your house? Are you about five the, miles from here? You can do like Forrest Gump, no, go five. to the mailbox and just about keep walking. About nine. Yeah. That's going to be about well, look, 18. Days. Here's what I tell you. You walk halfway home, and I'll, you count as you go, and I'll stop and pick you up. And you're going to get 10,000. Let 10, me know when you get to 10,000. I'm struggling today. Oh, I ain't going to do it just to see. I think that belongs out there in the cow patty pile. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> I said, just sit down and watch Gunsmoke. You'll right, be all right. Yeah, that's right. Oh, right. Dylan was. Dylan was. You know what else you could get though, he gets, he gets ten thousand rock for the duck call. For the when you're building duck calls, we we give you size QB. There you go. You pedal yeah. while you make them. Hey, but that'd be in my way of my tub then. Well, well, just move me. your tub. Don't be hey, making excuses yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> just what move you your tub. <laughs> what you got in the tub? Duck call. Duck, oh, uh, finished oh, duck call. Oh, oh, a duck call tub. What okay. kind of tub did you think he was? Speaking? I thought he had his feet in some kind of water or something. It's therapy. Okay. <laughs> He's no. getting a pedicure while he's right. 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 If I got a tub, I hey, I got, I either got grapes that I'm gonna mash for wine or something. Well, Godwin, I, I was <laughs> waiting. Grapes. Here, I'm. Here's where Godwin had me going <laughs> when he said I can't have no more sweet. I was waiting for one of his patented jokes. Yeah. I wouldn't. Well, I have been wondering about something. What's that? You know them batteries that you you get and you got on your deer stand and your phone goes down, you plug your phone in? Uh-huh. Won't you just plug that thing into itself? It won't never go down. <laughs> well, 
it. Plug one I into itself. I feel like I should have an answer, but I don't. Wait a minute. Plug, it, <laughs> plug one into itself. The plug charging it. pack. The charging pack. You yeah, but it hey, it ain't, your... it ain't the charging pack that's going down. It just your, leaks. Your, your phone went down. So you've got to charge. you got to put the charger in the phone. I know. Side explosion. But when, you're not, but when you don't, when you're not got it in your phone, well, there's two ports. So you can still charge your phone, but your so, hey, won't never because it, never, it loops. Since it never needs it, hey, just always recharge just it. Just plug it, it into it. Plug itself, itself into I, itself. But, but then or it's, it's always on the charge. You can't charge. I understand. I understand. So it's like an alternator. Yeah. Or yeah. it should be. It's running. It's running. What do you think? Just plug it in. Plug it in itself and let it always run. It'll what always be up, up, up. It'll always be charged. I'm against it. Deep thoughts with John <laughs> Godwin. That's right. I like it. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. I got a lot I'll to figure think. that out. Well, oh. I don't know how to follow that. I really was. I was expecting a joke, not a life-changing, yeah, I was not life-changing news. We've oh. laughed about it, but, I mean, that is something serious. When did y'all get this letter from AJ? Who's AJ? Well, how, who is AJ to begin with? It's AJ. He wanted to know. He, he Look, he got your tea. Tea glass. Oh, he oh, drew a tea glass on a. He wanted to know what my biggest crappie was. I caught. And I would what, say. And was it a white or a black crappie? I would say it'd be white and it'd be a two and three quarter pound. Godwin's in the three pound club. I'm not nope. in the three pound club. It's two and three quarters. A, two and three quarters is really my, close. The biggest crappie I've caught was a black crappie. Oh, I missed the, the species. But they were close. One was one ninety and one. What, the black crappie was 290, and the white crappie was 286. I'm trying to figure out why my man AJ sent such a big envelope. I didn't miss my month. And wrote so small? Wrote this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very small handwriting, AJ. That's so not, you're not in the three-pound club. He's not close. in the three-pound club. He's close. I, I, ain't ain't I had a guy the other day bad. telling me I should sell three-pound club T-shirts, and I'm like, nobody's going to get one. Yeah, that's, that's right. not a good. That's I mean, bad. I am in the three pound club, but Big it was seller. out of a private lake. Yeah, that counts. They've caught some out of Darbon, a few three pounders. But if you want a three pounder, you need to go to Grenada. 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 That's the land of the giants over. So you don't know cooking. anything about your new condition, really? No. Yeah, yeah he does. I don't feel no. He knows this. When he sees the arrow point down, you eat. Yeah. What if the arrow points up? It's okay. That means, uh, I guess that means your sugar's going up. I don't really yep. know. Then you got to stop I don't know eating. what you do about it. You stop eating. Drink water. That must be what you one shot a week is for. Yeah. Might be. Hmm. But it's been steady so far. Well, that's good. Maybe it's working. Huh. I guess everything's working. You seem in good spirits. Well, I feel the same. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it ain't affected him. Ain't nobody going to rain on his parade. He hey, got that. diabetes, or the kind I got, I guess. There ain't no. Yeah, there's you a don't bunch know of, you got it. There's a bunch of different types of it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the difference in none of it. But maybe She said it was low, so maybe it was a little exercise and diet. I can get off out. my medicine. Hey, Paula's going to figure it out for you. She sure is, boy. And Stone's going to figure it out. I just next. hope she's going to quit cooking. Oh, no. She'll, she'll cook. Me. She ain't going to quit cooking. It's just going to taste a lot That's right. It's going to taste. It's going to be a little yeah. different. Yeah. It's going to taste. Mm. Speaking about news while we go, somebody said news. Uh -oh. Is there anything worth listening to in the news these days? I don't nope. watch it. Nope. Never. <laughs> Not I, none of it. I don't. I, I don't, think that is just pitiful. What? Why? As big as this earth is. Okay, and that we do not have anything good to report on the on the people. Well, and they don't ever on the planet. They don't never uh, report on something good that happens. Well, it's that's always what I'm the bad at. stuff. So why watch it? Yeah, that, well, I, that's there's, why there's I good stuff I don't out there. It. Now the weather, I watch the weather, but it's just a liar. It's kind of depressing too. Yeah. yeah, it's hot. Yeah, I was. I mean, we in What's such. What's your a, thought on that? Why is it hot? Is it hotter than it normally is? It's summertime. They go back 20 years. Is it hotter or is it what? I'd have to look it up. Dallas set a record the other day, so it's hotter there. 
It gets hot. It gets cold. It gets hot. It's it gets hotter cold. than it was in the ice age. That's what. That's what PBS said. One day, Sai gonna host something on PBS. Oh, no. It's gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna have to go right, find look, Channel there's, 13. There's been again. like seven times in the last 640 million years. Just seven times. Four of them was uh, hot, and then three of them were cold. What? And at one time, this ball that we call Earth was completely iced and snowed over. Nice. It was just a big round ball of snow. That's why. Ice. That's why aliens don't no. visit us. What? It's too cold. We're just a one-star planet. <laughs> that's right. <what> one day. <laughs> now that. <laughs> oh, God, back, baby. That's way better that's than that. your Charger that's debacle. That's that, that, that one, that's we're right. just a one-star planet. That's right. yeah. One-star planet, baby. One at a time. I like it. Okay. All right, I got good news. All right. Oh, he's got good news. I found news. some. This elephant passed out because they shot it with a tranquilizer dart and hit him in the head. But then they revived it with CPR. But CPR of an elephant requires three people to jump up and down on it. Why is that good news? Because they saved the elephant. Yeah, but somebody shot him in the head. No, they shot him and it <laughs> fell and hit his head oh, or her head, no. which is sad. Okay. But now, if any of our listeners are ever in a passed out elephant situation, they know it's to like jump up and down do you think on she, the elephant's chest. Do you think when she stood up, she said, roll tide? No, not at all. She said, why y'all jump up and down on me? But thank What's you. What's the hole for? That's what I want to know. In case they didn't wake her up. Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't read the whole thing. Unless they didn't revive her. I don't know. I just don't think. How, how do you do? How do you resuscitate? Uh, what is the name of it? They they resuscitate. Resuscitate. They tranquilize. Yeah, how do you resuscitate her? a elephant? Blow through the uh, trunk. No, you jump up and down on his chest. Why not blow through his trunk? I don't think you he can drink water and spray water at it. I don't think your lung capacity is doing anything to an elephant, especially yours. Well, hook it up to a generator. Get a leaf blower and just stick it up his nose. <laughs> Slap one of size backpacks on it and go. <laughs> hey, hey. That's what all a, you got to do. Energy one on him, baby. So mm. the, turn it on three. The bulldozer was to drag the elephant out because it was stuck in a, the monsoon, and they were trying to save the elephant. They then was stuck then they made it worse. So then they gave the elephant boot CPR by jumping up and down on it, revived it, and now the elephant's fine. Fine. They was trying to... That was That's important to, to know. So the question is, if the oh, humans wasn't there, would the elephant have ever been in peril anyway? Probably That's right. not. That's right. Now, Martin, you bring up a great point. That's right. <laughs> a great We've point. been known to just really foul up some situations, and it sounds like these boys, while they recovered in the end, yeah, yeah, could have just probably left this alone, and it would have been a non-issue. <laughs> yeah, why not? Just wait until it maybe. dried up. Yeah, just wait for it to quit raining. That elephant knows how to survive water. Mm-hmm. That I can assure you, but they got to go sticking their nose don't, in there. Don't matter if he the elephant was in water over his head; he still got it. You know that trunk. Yeah, right? he's scuba. <laughs> it scares me every time. Hey, if you can get with an elephant, if you got a lot of peanuts, they work for peanuts. I thought you knew that, JD. They're scared of mice. You watch That's too right. many and they're Disney scared to movies. death of mice. They are not scared to death of mice. They are too. That is not true. That's a cartoon. He walks on his tiptoes when the mice come around. How come yeah. cats are scared of cucumbers? <laughs> you ever seen them videos? They make me laugh. Where somebody sneak up behind, drop a cucumber on the floor by the cat, and they jump through the roof. I tried. I've that. spent way too many hours doing that. Oh no, no, I tried to do that. And watching My those cat videos. must be weird because hey, the cucumber didn't bother people. Your cat so big it can't jump if it wanted well, to. Well, I'm just saying. Hey, I have seen that on television. Size where they did that. If you don't quit yeah. feeding your cat, it's gonna have one of these things in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, he's already got all that. See? <laughs> See? No, no, no. Sweet P has got more issues. Okay. He's like a uh, Caleb on the on the on the commercial. That's because a house cat ain't supposed to weigh eighty pounds. Well, no, no, he's got his own therapist, got his own doctor, got nurses. Your cat yeah. has a therapist now. Uh, oh yeah. Wouldn't you if you yeah. lived hey, with him? Got, I'm telling you, Sweet Pea's got more problems than I've got, <clears throat> and I've got my own. Okay, so hey. Take a break. Yeah, we got to get in that <laughs> inbox. I need some sense of right, normalcy let's around Let's go here. to the mailbox and see what the fans have been up to. We'll be back. What do you got, J.D.? All right, we're back. All right, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> that was I a said, break. moving yeah. right along. That's right, moving right along. If you're wondering how long our breaks take, sometimes 15 minutes, sometimes that one was uh, 30 Long seconds. enough to ring the bell. 
Ring the bell. I had a really good one. I got to find it real fast. Okay, you have a good one. All right. Uh, Well, I just wanted to give a shout out real quick. Uh, Christina emails in about her daughter, Averly. They are from Hagerman, New Mexico. Anybody ever been there? Hagerman, New Mexico. Never even heard of it. I think that's a place where... I think that's one of the areas that's got it's known for like trophy elk and stuff. Ooh, mm. I could see that in the oh, background. Oh, I could like to go. Well, there. Keep it up. anyway, her daughter Averly has some issues with her leg and her foot. She just had her third surgery, um, but she's a big fan of of the podcast and Duck Dynasty and all the good stuff. Um, and she she just wanted a shout out. So hey, Averly, praying for you and your leg and your foot. Yeah. And but, but she did say we're all amazing, but Uncle Size, of course, her favorite. Mine too. Hey, whatever you got, I hope you get rid of it, darling. Yeah. And, and hey, you can jump and play and dance and whatever. There you go. There you go. And to our friend who sent her grandma's secret recipes cookies in for reading her email. Mm. Were those good? Oh, they were solid. I didn't get oh, them. Y'all get, I guess y'all ate them all. Don't talk about that. Huh? I would just fix that. I guess they ate them all. Oh, Don't I wouldn't talk even, about that. That's on me. See, I wouldn't They're sugar about free. It. I, It's oh. going to take me a minute to get used to this, this keto, change. I'm sorry. keto cookies. No, they were not kind? They were not keto, keto cookies. No, these had all sorts of processed sugar in them. Ooh. Who knows? Yeah. All right, here we like, go. Michael. Oh, that was the weirdest thing somebody asked me to sign. This what? woman come up to me and asked me. No. She asked me to sign her foot, so she took it off and gave it to me. I had a vet do I that to me. I didn't know what to say. No, no. I had a vet do that to me. He said, hey, you mind signing my leg? And I said, nah. He said, here. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And we're back. And we're back. All right, speaking of vets, Michael emails in. Um, I guess he has all his limbs. Uh, he met a girl at church while doing his undergrad, and then that girl had to move, maybe. Hold on, I'm reading. She left. They're the six day. hours apart. Okay. There's the situation. Uh-oh. Uh, he's in Knoxville, Tennessee. And she's in Jackson, Tennessee. Right, that's where the goal's at. I did not, not know that Tennessee was six hours long, but apparently it is. It's longer than that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's longer than that if you live on. Look, you can get across that sucker in an hour and a half going north-south. Not that way. East-west, it takes two days, it feels like. Yeah. All right, well, that's where they're living, but they're dating. Martin, they're asking for advice. She still has two and a half years left of school, and I have four years left of vet school. Martin. Oh, he's at Knoxville. How did y'all do it? Oh, it ain't. What that, helped you? Telephone. It ain't that bad. FaceTime, telephone, interstate, gas. <laughs> gas, money. I mean, ain't nothing to it. it. It's how bad do you want it? It ain't no big deal. It, but, my man, if you like hunting, you need to get out of Knoxville. You need to go to Jackson. You need to go to her. So get your vet degree and move over there. Because once you get around Jackson, they, it gets good. They got a lot of ducks. They got a lot of deer, Ooh, a lot of turkeys. have one relationship advice. Martin's like, no animals there. Move. Yeah, I'm just telling you. I'm just, and so go see her. Yeah, go see her, especially during the fall. There now, she comes see you during the spring and summer because the fishing's a little bit better over there where you're at. But well, There you go. There you uh, go. That's the best of both worlds. What's but, that? what are you talking about? But Knoxville, I got a lot of friends around there. there. There's a bunch of good people around Knoxville. So just stay plugged in, stay committed. It ain't nothing but time. It's just it's the same commitment. It just – hey, I'll tell you this. The, it's, it's really fun because you don't – you don't get like bored with each other like you that's been known to do whenever you live together and all that kind of stuff. Every time you see each other, it's really exciting and you get to have a lot of fun and mm-hmm. you don't have to deal with the same doldrums a lot of times people deal with sometimes during relationships where they're like, "Oh, you don't love me anymore." And all that. No, it's always it's always new whenever you're six hours apart. So well, I'm excited every time I see Miss Paul. Yeah, I am too. But like it I took am. a it took me almost eight years of marriage to realize that like because there was some of it when you were freshly married is like okay this person lives here now every okay, day every yeah. day they're every still day. there yeah and so it just took some adjusting to get used to and figure all that that's stuff my out. spot that's my spot yeah you're in my spot <laughs> you're in my spot but no it's fun man it's it's totally worth it if you're committed it to is. each other and it gets better it, as the years go by amen to that it does in fact get better it gets does. better all right last one Dalton from Grayson, Louisiana. That's pretty close to here. Isn't oh yeah, it's right oh, yeah. over yonder. That's right down there. That's right down there in Caldwell Parish. It's Spawn mm. Goblin. Right past Columbia. Right past Columbia. All right, avid listener, hadn't missed a show. Appreciate that. Uh, he has something that's weighing him down. 
Uh, he's been having a rough time staying positive. I know that God wouldn't throw me anything my way that I couldn't handle, but it seems to be between work, pushing me around, car problems, financial issues, and blah, 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 so on, he says. I can't keep my head above water. Any advice would be appreciated. Keep paddling. Yeah. Keep. That's all you can do. Keep paddling. It gets better. You just got to you gotta work your tail off while you're young. Yeah. Until you get what you where you're going to be. I've noticed a lot of times, too, whenever you think everything's going super bad, when you look back on it, it really wasn't that bad. Yeah. It feels bad when you're in it. It does. And it feels like you can't <clears throat> get out. Like he's saying, you're treading water. You can't keep your head above water. Yeah. I and done. then you do, and then you look back on it, and you're like, man, that really wasn't that bad. Yeah. It's just, it just. I wasn't about that four-wheeler. Yeah. If I wouldn't, uh, well, if I wouldn't have ordered that boat and remodeled that house while I'm, I'm having not, twins, yeah. and you know, like you know, there's just a lot of stuff. But I you stop it. and look back on it, and you're like, I made it. Oh, this ain't that bad. At, at this, the end of the this day, this may help you, or it may not. Maybe you're focusing on the wrong things. Yeah, it's easy to focus on the problems. Focus yeah. on what's good. You get you get too wrapped up in what's got you down instead of looking. Because I, I always the Bible says this way. Jesus says, hey, keep your eyes on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that way, okay, if you're always looking, you know, Jesus will keep you positive. Hey, Amen. You and Grayson, go jump in that Washtenaw River. Spend a little time mm-hmm. on that river. It'd be mm-hmm. good to you. Yeah, go set a hook in them right. big white perch. Yeah. White perch. Well, I, I'm going to steal one from uh, our little cousin Sadie because she's just a way better at answering things than <laughs> any of us probably are. Oh, preach it. I, she did a thing about Paul, right? Uh, Paul's in the Bible. He was a bad guy, turned good guy, spread the word to more. He's the reason we probably have church today. He spread it all across that area. Um, but his life was not easy Mm-mm. by any means. There's a whole list of stuff. He got robbed. He got shipwrecked. He got bit by a snake. People were after him. They wanted to kill him. How many he times got, was he in jail? He was, and and that's where Sadie always goes. And then he's in jail. Yeah. And what's he doing? And that's gonna be our verse today. Spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> he's singing and praying, and right? Praying. He's yeah. singing and praying because he knows he still has. I actually ordered. This is weird. I ordered a book yesterday about the cost of being a disciple. It's like really old. I probably won't be able to read it. How much was it? Like eleven dollars. That's all it cost to be one. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh but, uh, but I'm, but I tried it, to be Goblin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried to be Goblin. It That'll is work. true. I think here in America, we have some misinterpretation of it ain't supposed to be easy. And we sing songs about blessings on blessings on blessings sometimes, but sometimes it don't feel like blessings. It feels painful. Yep. Well, it's, well, here's the deal. What gives you, how's character built? Not through the good times. Mm-mm. Tell us. God is, has never promised you, okay, that you won't have trials and tribulations. Okay? He has promised you a few things. One of them is that I'll, he'll, I'll never leave you. Mm-hmm. Amen. Okay? So he's always there. Okay? You know, cause just think about it. You're not going to go through this world without getting burned or mistreated by somebody. Go ahead. Yeah, it just it's it's that's a given, mm-hmm. you know. And the only thing you can control, you can't control what happens around you. The only thing you can control is how you respond to what happens, either to you or around you. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing you can control. Like if you do something bad to me, I can only troll what I do about it. I can mm-hmm. either get angry, hit you back, which does not solve anything, or I can turn the other cheek and let you get away with it. And in other words, like the Bible says, just like kill them with kindness. By doing that, you're heaping coals upon their head. Burning coal. Yeah, hot. A coal is hot, red hot. Okay, so look, who's who's stronger? The guy that gets angry and hits back or the guy that says, hey, you did me wrong, but hey, I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna walk away from you. It's always the guy that walks away. He's stronger. He's better than you are. Yeah. Because he didn't stoop to what you just did. It's hard though. You oh yeah. No, it ain't easy. Yep. It's, you think the worst, boy. Well, I remember getting in debt and all that when I was young, and thinking I ain't never getting out of this. But 
hard work. You, you got to put wise counsel. Well, you got to get what a, I, You got to get I, away from the pity party. Out. I got I got a hold of some wise counsel that told me what to do with my credit cards and this and <laughs> which, you can't was, hard, have which was hard to do. You need to sell your truck and get this truck and pay cash for and. I did it. It took about 10 years, but we finally come out of it. There you go. There you go. And now you got you a new truck. Mm-hmm. Look at you. That's good. Well, you want to send us out of here? I'll send us out. So, uh, spoiler alert, I already told you what I was going to talk about, but backstory, Paul's had a really rough time. Everything goes wrong. He's shipwrecked. He's it, He's always in trouble. And then he's trying to do what's right. He's trying to tell people about Jesus, so they throw him in jail, Right. He has every right to say, this sucks. I quit. I'm tired. But instead, he's in jail. And Acts 16, verse 25, says, About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. They had so much joy in the hardship that other people heard them and were just like, what? Is, what is, you know, they were thinking, like, what is up with these kooks? They're sitting here in jail in the worst place they could be, singing praises and having joy. So, my man Dalton, you got to just choose joy. That's the trick. Yeah. You know, you know you've know, you won in the end. You might not be winning right now. You are winning right now, but it might not feel like it. But in the end, you've won focus, because he won it for you. Focus what's on the positive side of life. Amen. There's always a silver lining it's in every dark cloud. Amen. All right, we'll Let's see y'all next time. We're out, We're out. here, boys.